Yo, what's cracking, everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and welcome to another episode of our Hot Lap Battle, featuring three extremely close rivals under the modern supercar category: the McLaren 650S, Ferrari 488 GTB, and the Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4. Now, looking at the stats given by Forza Horizon 3. All cars are classed at S1, with the 488 GTB having the highest performance index of 900, then followed very closely by the Huracan and the 650S respectively. Now in terms of overall stats, all these cars are fairly even across all the categories, but there are two huge differences I can see with these three cars. First is the Huracan's launch, being all-wheel drive it scored a perfect rating out of 10, and the McLaren's speed is the lowest, scoring a 7.7, .7, which is quite a big gap in comparison to the 488 GTB. And looking at the real performance figures, the Huracan is the weakest, putting out the least torque and horsepower out of the trio. However, it does possess an all-wheel drive layout. And in terms of weight, all cars jump on the scales roughly quite similar to one another, with the 488 GTB just slightly being the heaviest. So what we'll do now is we'll put these three supercars around our test track for an initial impressions lap and then we'll put together in a side-by-side -side comparison a hot lap that these supercars clocked. First up, the Lamborghini Huracan. Okay, so I'm in the Lamborghini Huracan right now and right off the line 0-60 absolutely quick thanks to the all-wheel drive drivetrain that this Huracan possesses and I have to say Driving this Huracan around this track feels very similar to the Lamborghini Aventador that I took out in the previous episode. And that is because most Lamborghinis, or at least recent ones, that have the all-wheel drive drivetrain all handle roughly quite similar to one another. And that's also including the Centenario and the Venino. It's just that the engine itself, the Huracan being slightly less powerful than the Aventador, it just goes through the straight a little bit slower, goes through the corners a little bit slower as well, but in terms of handling, grip, it just corners through very, very quickly. And of course, the all-wheel drive drivetrain just makes the car so much easier to drive. I don't have to worry about wheel spinning it. There's probably one bad thing that I have to say about the Huracan, and that is the all-wheel drive system somewhat works a little bit against the Huracan, just giving it some slight understeer when entering some corners. But apart from that, the Huracan is an extremely easy car to drive. But now it's time for me to move on to the Ferrari 488 GTB. Okay, so now I'm in the Ferrari 488 GTB and right off the line, there's actually not as much wheel spin as I thought it would have given that it's rear wheel drive, but of course, this is also mid-engine as well, so a lot of weight has been put onto the rear wheels. And coming through the second corner, you saw a little bit of wheel spin right there, and that is because you have to somewhat be careful exiting corners while you're going through corners with the GTB, uh, simply because there's just so much power that wheel spinning is quite prevalent to this vehicle. And the funny thing is, is that with the 488 GTB, the gear ratios feel quite short, so I'm chewing through the gears quite often, and every time I'm upshifting, I feel I have to concentrate on which gear I'm at. And because this car also doesn't rev as hard as the 458 Speciale, it just doesn't feel like there's much speed going through this track. But when I'm looking at the speedo, every corner I'm going through is faster than the Huracan that I was going through, which is very, very interesting. I think the sound plays a very big factor when it comes to the experience of driving fast. But with that being said, it's now time for me to move on to the McLaren 650S. Okay, so finally, I'm in the McLaren 650S, and right off the line, obviously there's going to be a bit of wheel spin because he has the same layout as the 488 GTB, and immediately, when it comes to the launch and speed, I can feel that the McLaren is the slowest out of the bunch, but when it comes to handling coming out from the second corner, I just feel like this car handles very similar to the Ferrari, but now coming onto the straight, this is where the McLaren is struggling a little bit, and I feel that... This is a little bit slower than the Huracan and the 488 GTB, but then going through the corners, it handles very, very well. 
and the gear ratios are nice and spread out for this track. I feel that the car is pushing a bit harder than the 488 GTB, but when I look at the speedo once again, it's not going as quick as the 488 GTB, but I think this is quite quick in comparison to the Huracan. So I don't know, this is going to be very interesting. This car handles extremely well. Still have to worry a little bit about wheel spin when exiting the corners, so it's not exactly the easiest car to drive and also the speed isn't exactly the quickest out of the three supercars. But anyways, it's now time for me to be quiet and put the final hot lap in a side-by-side -side comparison of these three cars. So let's just see how these three supercars stack up against some of our fastest supercars that have gone around our test track. As you can see, the three cars are currently ranked one position from each other with the Ferrari 488 GTB clocking the fastest lap time of 56.567 seconds and the Huracan clocking the slowest time of 57.157 seconds. And of course the McLaren 650S just slightly faster than the Lamborghini Huracan by two tenths of a second. And these three cars together as a group are slightly slower than the Lamborghini Aventador door but are all faster than the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. Anyways, this wraps up yet another epic episode of our hot lap battle. If you guys did enjoy this, please give this video a thumbs up and if you would like to see different comparisons for this hot lap battle, put your suggestions in the comment section down below. All suggestions will be put into consideration for the following episode. And if you would like to see more Forza Horizon 3 content done by me, make sure to subscribe to my channel as well. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.